Many aspects of Reacher Season 2's main villain, AM, are still unknown, but the show has dropped enough clues to reveal his purpose and how it connects to the murders of Reacher's former team members. Reacher Season 2 begins with Reacher receiving a stress call from his former team member and friend, Neagley. Realizing that Neagley would not reach out to him unless she had something urgent to tell him, Reacher immediately sets out to get in touch with her. With what follows, three of Reacher's former team members from the 110th Special Investigations Unit, Neagley, Carla and David join forces with him to solve the murder mysteries of their former teammates. Little do they realize that the murders will lead them to a bigger conspiracy. As Reacher and his team inch closer to the overarching conspiracy, the show gradually unravels the tapestry surrounding the identity and motives of the primary antagonist called AM. 6 AM's real name is unknown. AM's real name in Amazon's Reacher is still a mystery, but the show has revealed that he has multiple aliases. When Reacher visits Homeland Security in Season 2's Episode 5, they tell him they are only familiar with the name Ajari Mamoud, which happens to be one of AM. S8 known aliases. His other known names discovered by Reacher and his team are Andrew McBride, Alan Mason, Alejandro Mendez, Alexander Markopoulos, Adrian Mount, Anthony Matthews, and Alfred Mansfield. His aliases suggest that he constantly changes his identity to ensure he does not get caught by authorities or potential enemies. His ability to constantly manipulate his identity shows why, despite being aware of his existence, Homeland Security is not able to do anything to stop him. 5. Why Reacher's AM Villain Reads Comic Books In many scenes from Reacher Season 2, AM can be spotted with his face buried in comic books, especially when he is waiting for his flights at airports. He even offers his comic books to children once he is done reading them. Although the show never explicitly mentions why he reads so many comic books, it seems evident that he uses them as a disguise. For instance, in Reacher Season 2's premiere, he reads a comic book titled Blue Mask when airport security asks him about the purpose of his visit. He assures security that he is a Hollywood fanatic who wishes to visit a few popular touristy spots like Universal Studios, Walk of Fame, and Man's Chinese. The comic book in his hand further cements his claims, assuring security that he has no ill intentions. Apart from that, AM also seems to draw inspiration from comic book characters. Like comic book superheroes and villains, he disguises himself as a regular man and even adopts alternate identities to fit in with the masses. Like the character from his Blue Mask comic book, he, too, dons a mask to ensure no one suspects him of committing international crimes. By portraying AM as a typical comic book-esque villain, the show also seemingly highlights how he contrasts Jack Reacher's radical sense of justice. 4 AM is an arms dealer. Reacher and David arrange a meeting with Homeland Security in Reacher Season 2, Episode 5, to learn more about AM. DHS agents Karim and Hernandez reveal that they have the name Ajari Mahmoud in their database, but know nothing else about him. They call him a ghost. The two agents also add that he serves as a mediator between terrorist organizations and those who can provide dangerous weapons. After buying tools of destruction from international military organizations or other powerful factions, he sells them to terrorists without caring much about the consequences of his actions. 3. Why AM uses bearer bonds instead of money Reacher Season 2's Episode 5 also reveals that AM uses bearer bonds for transactions instead of liquid money. The reason for this is that bearer bonds are not registered with a specific name or identity like regular bonds. Owing to this, a terrorist weapons dealer like AM can easily use them for transactions without worrying about leaving behind a financial trail that authorities can track to find him. This explains why. Despite knowing about him, Homeland Security has not been able to hunt him down. Since his dealings involve huge sums of money, it would also not be practical for M to carry massive denominations in cash, especially at airports where he would get caught. However, his use of bearer bonds also puts him in a vulnerable position. Since bearer bonds are not registered under anyone's name, anyone who acquires them can claim their ownership. AM cannot risk giving his bearer bonds to someone else because doing so would mean giving up control of his assets. Since it would be hard to trust someone from his line of work, he must deliver the bearer bonds himself. Delivering them in person puts him in harm's way because justice seekers like Reacher want to stop him from completing his deals and promoting terrorism. 2 AM is what Reacher could have become. AM and Reacher have a lot in common. Both characters never outstay their welcome and do not believe in conforming to societal norms. They are both enigmatic figures who do not even stay in one location for long. However, what separates them is their moral code. 
While Reacher has a strong sense of justice and uses his crime-solving skills to protect innocents, AM's motives veer into darker territories. AM's characterization seems to serve as an example of how Reacher, too, could have become a criminal after leaving the military if his parents had not raised him well. Like AM, he has a clear disdain for the constraints of a predictable, routine-driven life, but his strong morals keep him grounded. 1AM works for money with no known political or religious agenda. In most movies and TV shows, villains like AM are usually driven by political or religious motives. However, Amazon's Reacher seems to establish that AM runs his illegal arms dealing business solely to earn more money. Money is his only god in Reacher Season 2, and he is a stereotypical antagonist who cares about nothing but his self-interest.